This is the TV News, the industry's only daily video report. Brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative needs, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution. Welcome to the TV News at the TVNews.tv for Thursday, September 10th. And here are today's top stories. Fox has announced that Ellen DeGeneres has signed on to replace the departed Paula Abdul as judge on American Idol. She may not sing all that well and her dancing, eh, but she's funny. According to sources, her syndicated talker, The Ellen DeGeneres Show, will not be affected. And for more information and details, you can log on to broadcastingandcable.com. The fall broadcast TV season has gotten off to a less than impressive start with CW's slate of Soylent Green TV offerings 90210 and Melrose Place. Only 2.6 million viewers attended the 90210 Redo sophomore premiere, while an even less 2.3 million viewers showed up at the remade Melrose Place. Maybe viewers have an even lower tolerance for Soylent Green TV than me. Hmm. Nah, can't be possible. For all the numbers, log on to Variety.com. So we'll undoubtedly be able to measure TV everywhere very soon, right? Not so fast. Nielsen's president of Media Client Services has gone on record saying that it will be some time before anyone can measure all consumption of a particular TV program across all exhibition platforms. Now Nielsen says it is committed to undertaking an extensive evaluation program before it commits to integrating TV and internet viewing measurement. For more details, log on to multichannelnews.com. In the wake of Disney's $4 billion acquisition of Marvel Entertainment, Warner Brothers has rebranded DC Comics as DC Entertainment. The new lead character of the restructured DC Entertainment is Warner Premier top exec Diane Nelson. For the complete story, log on to Variety.com. Sales, marketing, and trends. Brought to you by Storn Associates, sports and entertainment marketing specialists. Log on to StornAssociates.com and start connecting with sponsors and consumers. The Sales, Marketing, and Trends report happens every Thursday here on the TV News at the TVNews.tv. Congratulations to Ion Television, which broke the Guinness World Record for the largest moving box earlier this week in Times Square. Now, part of this record-breaking promotion that celebrated the premiere of their original series, Durham County, was an integrated $100,000 giveaway that was won by a single mom from New Jersey. According to Media Daily News, ESPN is embarking upon a youth movement in devoting its marketing attention to its younger business units, where ESPN believes the best chance for growth can happen moving forward. The targeted business units include ESPNU, ESPN Deportes, and ESPN's online exhibition platform ESPN360. For more information, log on to MediaPost.com. Hey, what would TV, and the TV news for that matter, be without the ebb and flow of change? Beginning this Tuesday, and every Tuesday, we're beefing up the TV news with a report on new media and how it continues to converge with the TV industry. Covering this exciting segment is one of the real new media experts with deep TV marketing roots, Stan Melton Jr., who heads one of the DC area's most sought after TV marketing and new media companies, Brown Bag. Make an appointment with Stan the New Media Man, as we like to call him, as he reports on new concepts in TV and new media. And it all begins this coming Tuesday only on the TV News at the TVNews.tv. Future events and opportunities brought to you by Dude Walker. Get the best voice, get the best price. Get Dude at DudeWalker.com. The 2009 CTAM Summit has announced some key sessions at their October 25th through the 27th gathering in Denver. One session features TV marketing guru Lee Hunt, who will be orchestrating a session entitled Turning Multi-Platform Chaos into Brand Loyal Eyeballs. For more information on the 2009 CTAM Summit, click the CTAM banner just below this viewing box, or you can log on to the brand new CTAM.com. The 2010 ProMax BDA Conference will be held in Los Angeles next June 15th through the 17th at the new LA Live. For more information, log on to ProMax.org. And that's about it for this edition of the TV News at the TVNews.tv. 
We'll definitely be back tomorrow with the only daily video cast about the TV industry for the TV industry. And that includes our Friday feature, the Sports TV News. I love that. Until then, you can hang with the TV News on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and tell all of your colleagues about the TV News here at the TVNews.tv. Plus, register at the TVNews.tv and we'll deliver a link to the show every day. Such a deal. I'm Jeff Grimshaw, and thanks for watching. The TV News has been brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative challenges, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution.